So as a follow-up on the solver, say for example we had an equation like this, the volume of a um, rectangular sort of object is length times width times height. So we want to enter that into a program space. We're going to use m variables and we're going to rearrange this to be equal to zero. So length times width times height minus v equals zero. So let's go ahead and enter that. Let me create a new program space. Looks like I already have one. All right, so I am going to lock my program function menu and put in a label. Um, let's just call this ball. Now I'm going to put in my m variables, but to make that easier on myself, I'm going to input them here. I'm going to store them to create them. So I've got zero, and I'll store zero into uh, L, and store zero into H, and store zero into W, and store zero into V. And I go back to my program. Again, lock the program function, go up a menu, and there's the m variable. So enter m variable v, m variable w, h, and l. Now I'm going to recall those. So recall, let's see, length, recall h, multiply those together. I could also have done a recall times. I'll go ahead and do that. So recall times w. So that will recall whatever is in the w register and multiply it by what's in the stack. All right, now I just need v. Oops. Uh, sorry. Recall v and subtract that. So that should be this equation entered. So let's go ahead and solve it. Solve volume. And then we enter our knowns and solve for the unknown. So say our width is 5, our height is 5. I'm just hitting 5 and then entering it. There's no equals here. I just put 5 in, enter it. Now if I hit any one of these buttons it will solve for that variable. So I'm going to solve for volume given that I have five in each one of these. And it found volume is 125. Now let's say I have a box that is 5.5 wide, 2.5 high, and my volume I want to be 100. Well, How long will that box have to be? I'll have to be 7.27, whatever units we're using, long. So very nice, you can enter in what you know into these menu variables that you've created, and then solve for what you want.